Hello, my learners. My name is Teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today in Grade 4, Science and Technology, we will continue with water pollution. And on water pollution, we will remind ourselves first what did we say was the meaning of water pollution. And I will start with Wangari. Wangari, can you tell us what is water pollution? Water pollution, very correct, it is the introduction of harmful substances to the water. Introduction of harmful substances into the water. That is correct. In other words, we said when we introduce these harmful substances, the water becomes polluted. That is very correct. Now I would like us to repair into two and observe the following pictures. We pair into two and observe the following pictures. From your Tom, what can you see from picture one? From picture one, yes, you can see a boy urinating in water. A boy urinating in water. Correct. That is picture one. We can see a boy urinating in water. The water and from you Wangari what can you see in picture number two from you Wangari what can you see from picture two yes that is very correct picture two it is a vehicle ferrying water from the river but at the same time it has an oil leakage so the oil is dripping into the water so we have oil leakage from the vehicle Oil leakage from the vehicle and the oil it is being spilled. It is being spilled into the water. The oil is being spilled into the water. And for you, Victoria, what else can you see from picture three? A picture three, it has our mothers or ladies, women washing clothes inside or in the water. Women washing in water so there is washing of clothes washing of clothes and these clothes they are being washed in the river and the last picture the last picture Tom will tell us what you can see from the last picture correct there are young toddlers or young boys and girls bathing swimming in water so there is swimming of children and the children are swimming in the river. So these things are happening. So from the first one, it is urination, urinating. Urinating is coming from the word urine. A boy is urinating. The urine is being introduced into the water number two we have seen oil spillage or oil leakage the oil is also introduced into the water and from picture three we have seen women or our mothers washing clothes so there is dirt from the clothes being washed there is dirt from the clothes being washed and the last one is children swimming children swimming so as they swim, as they wash themselves, they will also use soap to wash themselves. They are dirt from the body, from their bodies is also entering to the water. So all this, now I would ask a question. What is water pollutants? Water pollutants. From our dictionary in groups, we can check what is water pollutants. Water pollutants. And we say water pollutants, pollutants are the harmful, are the harmful substances, substances introduced, they have been introduced or they are the harmful substances contaminating
water. They are the harmful substances contaminating water. The harmful substances contaminating water. And we have given examples of these harmful substances. Examples. These harmful substances now are the ones we call them pollutants. The harmful substances now are the ones we call them pollutants. Now in our groups, can you tell us now these examples? Tom, example one was oil spillage. That is correct. Spillage. Oil spillage is an example of water pollutant. Anything that is contaminating water, it is called pollutant. Number two, another example, we have said plastic bottles. Plastic bottles thrown in water. That is correct, Wangari. Plastic bottles, plastic materials, it's not necessarily bottles, but they can also be plastic, uh, uh, plastic papers. Materials thrown into the water. Another example of oil sp of, of water pollutants. Tom, what can you tell us? Another example of pollutants. We say domestic domestic. And when I say domestic, I'm using the mothers or women washing clothes. That is domestic wastes domestic wastes is also examples of pollutants another example of pollutants from you victoria you can tell us another example of pollutants farm chemicals that is correct farm chemicals farm chemicals is another examples of pollutants and you victor you can Tell us another example of water pollutant. Another example of water pollutant. Another example of water pollutant. That is very correct. A sewer, a sewage, or sewer line, sewage. Sewage that has been introduced direct, raw sewage. We call it raw sewage. Raw sewage. That has been introduced directly to the water. Now, this class we have said we call them water pollutant because they are the ones contaminating or polluting water. These we call them pollutants and because they are the ones contaminating water. Are we together? From our dictionary we have said water pollutants are the harmful substances which have been introduced into the water. Harmful substances introduced into the water. And you have said these harmful substances, they are contaminating water. They are substances contaminating water. We call them water pollutants. And we have given many examples. To mention a few, oil spillage, plastic materials, raw sewage, among others. Now I have an activity for us to do. An activity. An activity for us to do as we go home. As we go home. Remember, in our locality we have rivers. We have sources of water. I would like you observe some of these pollutants, which you will find them within our locality as you go home. Kindly, as you observe them, take photo and come with them tomorrow so that we can talk more on them as we stick them in our portfolio. I'm repeating, as you go home, take photo of pollutants in our locality. Take photos of pollutants in our locality. And that marks the end of our lesson for today.